Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second installment of These Nuts. As in not these nuts, as in these nuts. Alright, I wanted to run over a couple things I found out yesterday. Um, so, well basically, I cut the top, cut the bottom off, you saw that yesterday. The quality of the video was far from great. So, I'm pre-recording and then I'll post uh, to, to give you guys a better video pleasure. So basically, on an aluminum can, you can use straight up scissors. I've used these on about 25 cans, not a problem, still sharp. On the steel cans, such as this antique Schlitz can, um, you're going to need 10 snips. Um, or if you have a cool nephew like me that bought me these for Father's Day one time, one time way back when, I still use them. These things will cut anything. I mean anything. I've shaved concrete with them and they're still sharp. Um, they're actually designed for opening up those plastic uh, packages that when you buy stuff at the store, you can never open them. This cuts it beautifully, opens them up like a dead. Alright, so what basically um, I hit I hit record before and it didn't record. I was just taking a picture so I went through a whole spiel so uh, I didn't record so basically you're gonna find the seam on the can you're gonna cut it up and what you wanna do is on most cans um, there's a little lip to the caps you need to cut that lip off in order for it to lay flat so you cut that off first on this aluminum can the edge was pretty clean so I don't have to do anything there but on this one I don't know if you could tell there is a little lip there so I'm gonna cut that right to that green line so it matches the bottom a little better and I'm showing you how to do this half quarts are a little tougher than the regular size cans on um, the scissors because they tend to flex too much I'm hoping you can see this and I only got cut once yesterday which was very nice oh, there it goes. and then you'll have that happen and you must realign normally I put it over here like this hold it flat I know you probably can't see that now. So there you go. Cut a little piece off. Now you're ready to flatten. Oh, I found out some other things. See that? Those spots on there? That's old beer. When you flatten it, it gets real sticky like glue. So you want to clean the, the inside and outside before you iron it. Another tip. The iron does not work on tin cans. So I'm going to have to come up with something for that. And we'll go from there. So, um, again, I showed you on the videos how to flatten them with the iron. But I wasn't videotaping. So I will show you again. And pause it. And another thing, I thought by putting some steel blocks down, putting the can on that with the aluminum on, on top, it would heat from top and bottom and it would flatten faster. Not so. Didn't flatten at all. So you do need some type of cardboard to flatten on. I don't know why, but, and I should have clean this one before but I gotta clean it fast so let's clean that up real fast 
little alcohol. Don't get it too close to your iron because it's set on linen and it's very hot. And it'll start a fire. So I'll pretend I clean that. But I definitely want to clean the outside because if there's anything on the outside, it's when you heat it, it's going to burn it. So any kind of dirt or sugars or anything like that, it's, it's going to leave a burn mark and then you can't get it off. And I like how some of the cans were actually beat up before they've got nice um, imperfections and dents and things that I think came out really cool so basically okay so now I got my Rhine light my Rhine gold I'm gonna put that down I'm gonna put my foil on top and then I'm gonna take my three dollar iron and I'm just gonna hold it there. The videos I saw, the guy was ironing actually, but, and he wasn't using a piece of foil. He was just using the iron itself. And if there's any kind of imperfection on the bottom of that iron, it's gonna scratch the paint right off the aluminum. So I prefer just doing it this way. Just move it around. And your cardboard's gonna smoke because it's really hot. And usually takes about, I don't know, two minutes maybe to totally flatten out. I'm just putting a little pressure on it. Piece of cake, mama. Oh, let's see. Is there anything? Oh, and it's good to have a rubber hammer because if there are dents, like some of my cans I garbage picked so they were like super dented and I tried to undent them when I was little. Um, this helps that out. Once you got the can open you turn it over on something hard and make a nice less imperfection perfect imperfection if you know what I mean. Another thing when you're done <laughs> don't touch it it's gonna be hot. my tweezers and that should be good I don't even think that was two minutes and voila okay Pause it. so uh, these cool cans that I want to use they don't flatten uh, I did try them excuse me, on a piece of metal and pounding them out slowly, it doesn't work. I'm guessing if you had one of those cool metal rollers, just stick it in there and crank it around. I don't have one of those. So, basically, what I'm going to do is put it on the wood and just nail it in three places. Um, and what I've decided to do, because I've got 14 of these I'm going to make two taller uh, pictures and I'm going to put them one on top of the other and then I'll frame those out and uh, hopefully somebody buys them <laughs> daddy needs a new pair of shoes baby um, alright so I guess that's it for this edition if I come up with something else We'll come back on with these nuts later.